Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. The star in the reverse. You're not hopeless. You're not in any type of despair. Um, wish fulfillment is here for you. You need to trust your intuition. Trust your, your inner guidance, your higher self. You have a knowing, okay? And you should be leaning on that inner deep knowing heavily at this time because there, there's still, there's something around you or a person that is trying to stop you from having faith and hope in what you know to be true for yourself in your life. The chariot in the reverse and the three of wands in the reverse. Yeah. I'm going to say, I hope that this just isn't you. I just did a reading and it's the same energy. I don't think that this is you. This is projection. I, I, can, I really can't believe that this will be my collective. Someone here has lost control. They're extremely disappointed because they've been overindulging in something. And the only thing that they are receiving now is a lot of delays. They're receiving disappointment after disappointment, setbacks, delays. The three of wands is in the reverse. Whatever someone was hoping that they would receive, they're not receiving it. They're not receiving it. Page of Cups. Yeah. Somebody out here thought that they were going to be found um, innocent. That they were going to be able to explore something new honey whatever this is it will stop before it even got started the high priestess and you knew this or you're being advised right now to trust somebody could really be pretending right now that everything is fine no it's not somebody also may have thought that you would be open to a new opportunity like if they presented you with a new opportunity that they would be able to come in and, and trick you into working with them or communicating with them. I just said this in another reading. You know, this is the post shadow of Mercury retrograde. Somebody thought that they were, it, it feels like that they would wait you out or stall you out. Like, mm, you know, that person, they didn't call me. They didn't text me during this retrograde. They must really be done with me. Is that type of energy. But you have here the four of cups in the reverse. This is a masculine who had plans of trying to like steal your strength or your courage away. This person was hoping that you would have the strength to embrace them in some kind of way. Despite the fact that this person has been in the background creating all of this nonsense. You see 555 five, five here. This is a confirmation. 555. Five, five. The five of swords upright, the five of wands in the reverse, and the five of pentacles in the reverse. This is just a failure. Everything here is a failure, okay? Your intuition has saved you in some kind of situation because you have the seven of swords here in the reverse. Someone has completely failed at trying to put you in this energy of being codependent. Yeah, that's what this person did. They thought that they were going to do Something somehow, I don't know if someone tried to do a love spell, a money spell or something, but they honestly thought that by being very sneaky and, and calculated, coming up with some type of strategy somehow to make you lose your resources or mismanage your time, your effort, your energy or your resources, that you would lose control and you would be sad and disappointed and you will reach out to them. This is a failure. This person is very disappointed now with what they've done. Because I feel like with the five of wands in the reverse and the five of pentacles in the reverse, you chose not to fight this with you. You chose not to fight with this person. This is you understanding the art of war and understanding this person's tactics of their art of seduction. Somebody was trying to energetically seduce you. That's what I'm hearing specifically. 
somebody wanted to energetically seduce you so that they could lure you into some type of sadness and ending. They wanted you to have grief. This is like a person who is, is trying to convince you that they want to come back into your life or reconcile with you only for them to like dump you or treat you really, really bad. Like somebody wanted to get your hopes up only so that they could like hurt you 10 times worse. But see, I feel like you, you were able to notice this and recognize it and therefore you ignored it. So whatever this person tries to do in an effort to attack you, you bounce back from this quickly. You're too strong for this person. This person tries to give their look, judgment. You call judgment on this situation. <laughs> Eight of Swords. This person thought that they were going to bind you in some type of way. Eight of Swords. Have you in some type of mental entrapment so that they could restrict you. They want somebody wanted to restrict you from doing the, the three of pentacles from doing some type of meaningful work. Or you having some type of collaboration. But see, you saw the truth about this. The high priestess, you saw the truth. The three of swords in the reverse and the tower is in the reverse. You saw the truth about this situation. And therefore, you released yourself. This is a, it, Today, I'm just picking up a lot of backfire energy. Somebody now has gotten caught up in the web of their own lies. And the fire that they tried to create for you is the fire that's going to burn them. This person is going to fall into the grave that they thought that they were digging for you. Because the high priestess and the ace of swords, this is not you only being intuitive. This is you also being extremely smart and intelligent. You having mental clarity. You're not confused. There is no illusion or anything. You fully are aware of your purpose. And therefore, you know exactly what actions to take. You have a clear, clear thought. See, had you fallen victim to this person's trick and allowed them to get you caught up with this chaos and this conflict and you lost your peace of mind, then this person would have been able to have you bound to some kind of negative energy or if they were sending some kind of negative energy towards you, it would have been able to connect. But because you stayed in this very high vibrational type of energy, something that they were sending towards you, it couldn't connect. Yeah, Ten of Swords. This is this something is backfiring on a person. Yeah. And here you are now, four of wands. It's a time of celebration for you. The Empress is here in the reverse. For some of you, this could be um a mother figure. This could be your own mother. Or someone was trying to make you be the empress in the reverse. Someone could have been trying to cause issues with you in your home life, especially with the four of wands or the empress. Or someone was trying to block you from having an opportunity to become the empress. Um, as far as like maybe you getting married or having a, a, a nice home life or um, the empress is, is you even nurturing yourself, like being able to heal your own inner child. But I feel like you were able to rise above whatever this is. The world card is here. So you successfully completed something here. The four of wands and the world card, you will have this security, this abundance, this happiness, this peace. But you have the ten of cups here in the reverse and the six of cups in the reverse. It's like someone here is trying to make you stuck in the past. Somebody wants you stuck in the past because you have a brand new beginning here, the Ace of Wands. And this could be someone's family. Or somebody just does not want you to have a happy family. This could be your, this could be a mother figure or a family member or whomever, or someone's ex-wife, girlfriend, the mother of their children, if it's a masculine. But someone out here does not want you to have a family. They want, don't want you to have this new beginning where you have like this new project or something that brings you a lot of excitement or creativity. That's why somebody here wants you to be the empress in the reverse. This could be someone that has been trying to even attack like your sacral energy to block all of your creativity. They want you to be distracted and very much stuck on the past. 
This could be someone that you don't have like the best memories with. This could be someone that you've known from from childhood. Like I said, it could be a parent even for sure. Yeah, the Knight of Swords is here in the reverse. And then you have the Emperor and the King of Pentacles. This could be a masculine attacking a divine feminine. This person is trying to attack someone's foundation. You have Aries, um, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy, heavy Taurus, Aries energy. This is an extremely masculine type of energy. And this person, what they've done is they've abused their power. I'm seeing a different deck in my head right now. They're, they've abused their power to try very hard to stop and block you from having wish fulfillment in your life. It's like this person, the last thing that they want to ever see is you be happy. That is so just foolish, childish. Let me get this deck because I'm I'm seeing a specific deck. So it must be a message. Yeah, this person has gone above and beyond to block something for you. Two of swords. They wanted you stuck in some kind of illusion so that you couldn't see something. And this didn't do anything but go back on this person. They didn't want you to be open to opportunities. Five, five, five. Hmm. This person could be a part of some kind of um, organization of some kind. Secret society, cult, coven, some kind of like I said, organization, heavy tourist energy. This person has a very set way of thinking and it's like they're trying to impose their beliefs onto you. They work very hard at this. Eight of Pentacles. This person has been focused. Very, very focused. The Ten of Cups is here. I feel like this person has actually been very focused on your, your happiness and your wish fulfillment. But you have here the Chariot. The Nine of Pentacles, the Strength card is here, and the Queen of Wands in the reverse with the Sun, the Tower in the reverse, Three of Wands, and here's the Hierophant, and the Ten of Swords, Death in the reverse, and the Fool. Let's talk about that. Death and the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Somebody knows that they cannot get out of whatever this ending is. They brought this on themselves, okay? This is what's coming in. It's an inevitable ending. Death, Tower, Ten of Swords. You cannot stop this. You cannot block it. They sent this out and it's coming back tenfold. That's what's coming in. Death. The death in the reverse, it's, it's inevitable. You can't change it. This person was, was trying to avoid losing something. They're, they're, they were refusing to let go of something. Something that they've done now with the sun is being exposed. And then you have the strength card out here and the queen of wands in the reverse. Strong, strong Leo energy. The nine of pentacles. What this is, is this person didn't want to let go of your energy. You have an energy that can illuminate something. And I told you, there's that Taurus energy. This person has some kind of beliefs. This person feels like you shield them, you protect them. You have some type of strength or courage. It's something about, about the way that you love, your confidence or something. But this person, they wanted you to actually be the queen of wands in the reverse. It's like this person, they wanted to utilize your strength and your energy to power them up. But they wanted you to be left in the Queen of Wands in the reverse. This person also could be in a connection with a Queen of Wands in the reverse. But, but they've been holding on to your energy. Yeah, exactly. Here's the Fool card. You freed yourself from this situation. This person wanted to be in a connection with someone else. The Queen of Wands in the reverse. Someone who has very low self-esteem. Who is jealous, toxic, manipulative. Here you are, the Nine of Pentacles, you and the Hierophant. You have morals and values, heavy Taurus Virgo energy, even for the feminine. You have the inner strength. Like It's almost like I'm, this person, they want you to come in and tame them. And this energy has been coming out a lot for the last few weeks. I don't know. Somebody, they just want your energy to tame them. They want your energy to give them the strength and the power to to do something because they can't seem to free themselves. This person, 
they can't free themselves. I don't care how smart this person is, how much money they have. It's something that they can't free themselves from. I don't know if it's a relationship, it's a way of thinking, or they're stuck in something because, like I said, they made some kind of vow or oath where they have to conform to something here. This card says group thing. This person is in some kind of organization. They, they're they sworn in. They can't get out. They, yeah, they're sworn into something. They can't get out. And so this person has been challenging your actual personal freedom. They don't like the fact that you have your free will still. Three of swords. Told you. They're heartbroken because you're the star. Five of Pentacles in the reverse and the Empress. They're heartbroken because you still have hope. There's still hope for your future. There's no hope for this person. There's no hope for them. And whatever they did to try to break your heart, you're, you're healing. You're recovering from it. The Empress with the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, you're not out in the cold. You're not going through any type of hardship. You're not sick. They, they didn't take you out. Everything that they sent out to you is hitting them now. The Death and the Ten of Swords with the Tower in the reverse and the Chariot. They work so hard to try and move in on you energetically. What did I, what did I say before? They're spiritually... Uh, I forgot. I don't remember what, what I heard before. But they're energetically violating you. Yeah, four of pentacles. This person is practically, they're trying to bind themselves to you. King of wands in reverse with the moon. Disgusting. This person is trying to bind themselves to you because they're not a good leader. The king of wands in the reverse. This person is arrogant. Like, but it's, I, I hate to say this, but without your energy, there's nothing they can do. This person creates an illusion that they are powerful, that they are a leader because they have your energy. This is literally somebody that has been showing up in the world with someone else's energy. And now they are being forced. They've been caught in the egg. They are being forced to move forward now with their own energy, without yours. They don't know what to do. What am I going to do? They can't manifest. They can't show up to this group and manifest certain things without your energy. The Page of Cups is in the reverse. The Two of Cups is in the reverse. This person's ability to have creativity and strength, it came from them being in a soul tie or connection with you. Now that they don't have this connection to you, the Page of Cups, there's a gift, an ability, some kind of talent or something that they've been tapping into because they had access to you. Now, this is making everything fall for this person. With that Taurus energy, Hierophant energy, this is affecting things with organizations. It's, it's really making a, this person take a major hit, especially with their finances, the Eight of Pentacles. This is a person who has been using your energy to, to finance their entire life in some type of way. Now, they don't have access to it. Everything is falling. Everything. Death. Ten of Swords, Tower, it's like setback after setback, delay after delay. Everything is just, they're like, they can't catch a break. They cannot catch a break. And they keep, they, they try to come in and trick you yet again. They, they won't stop trying to trick you. It's because like they're, they're obsessed, they're addicted. Addiction. Clear your energy field. You and this person are not on the same page. You have new love here. This is a one-sided connection where this person wants you to give so much more than what they give. And it's strictly sexual. This person is relying on your sacred energy to bring them stability. And all they can do now is receive all these setbacks. They don't know what to do. Why, why, why now is, is everything going bad? Because you, you're clearing and cleansing your energy. And this person, had, they're trying to bind themselves to you. That's not working anymore. You're so high vibing. Like this is, it doesn't work. So like I said, they have to show up as themselves now. <laughs> that's really bad. I'm, I'm hearing, that's really bad for business. <laughs> 
them showing up as themselves is bad for business because it's a king of wands in the reverse. They're a poor leader. They're lazy. They're, they lack knowledge. They don't really have the personality, the character. They've been walking around with your sunshine. This person is, they're supposed to be in the background. But they've been at the forefront of everything, making money, living a lavish life, whatever, because they've been using your energy. They've gotten caught in the act now, and now they have to move along. This person may have to actually move because their stability and security is on pause. It's not coming in. Without them having this soul tie and connection to you, there's nothing that they can receive. The page of cups in the reverse, this person is receiving nothing but bad news. Their creativity is completely blocked. They can't come up with any ideas. Nothing. What it is, is this is a soulless being. This person doesn't have any type of love. So, what I'm getting, this person, what they probably have tried to do is like bind themselves to your heart chakra because they don't have a heart. This person is heartless. So because they know that love is the highest frequency of vibration, love is going to make you a vibrational match for abundance. They don't have a heart. They don't have a soul. So what they've done is they try to bind themselves to your heart chakra and your sacral chakra. They need to utilize your heart chakra to attract things and your sacral chakra to manifest it. Because this person on their own, they're not a vibrational match for success or abundance. They're not. This is someone their entire life. They've just been living off of the energy of other people. This has to be some kind of like magician, magician card. Is, yeah, this person is a magician. An illusionist. Warlock. And they've been doing... This magic, perhaps, on a divine feminine for a long time. Everything they have is thanks to the energy of this divine feminine. You see, they have a creative block. Why? Because you got your energy back. Now you have your own energy. Your fish is back in your cup. Your energy has been returned to you. And that's the reason why now they're receiving death. They took your life force energy. It's over now. Boom. The tower. <laughs> and the five of swords in reverse. Yeah. Moving on. The five of swords in reverse means that there's no more conflict. There's no more, you know, drama. Everybody has to surrender and go their own way. The tower is here. This, whatever this is. Yeah. The Six of Pentacles here, I'm telling you, it's a Taurus out here for sure that's having serious anxiety. Because this person keeps rushing in to steal from your abundance, your Nine of Pentacles. Now, they're going through a major life change, a transition. Six of Swords. This person could even have a family with someone else. They've been taking care of a family, children, and everything with your money, your abundance. Now, all of this chaos, the destruction, all of that good energy that you had that they were stealing, that was helping them to mask their pain, helping them to overcome, you know, any of the chaos, the destruction, the trauma, their triggers, and everything else. This person has been soothing themselves with your energy. And they've also been manifesting abundance with your energy. Now, cord cut, boom. It's tower after tower after tower. There's nothing they can do. It's so many unexpected changes because now where, where before they were able to make um, generous offers or receive gifts and, you know, money from different people in the community and support, it's not there anymore. This person is, is sick. They're having so much anxiety now. They don't know what to do. Like, where where is the money? Where are the opportunities? They're gone because that person's energy isn't there anymore. Duh. This person has been in your energy for so long that they honestly thought it was their own energy. They forgot. <laughs> they forgot. They didn't have any wealth. That was your wealth and abundance. 
Now they're having anxiety. Why, why are you having anxiety? What you scared for? Oh, you're going broke? Oh, okay. I, I, I thought so. Knight of Swords. And I guarantee you this person, they're constantly trying to rush in. Because now, for a lot of you, you actually have new love here. A stable offer. Someone now they can come in and they, they don't they don't need your energy or they don't even want they're not trying to steal your energy. You have a connection with someone, you're the privileged lady. You you have a stable connection with the person that's coming in now. And the connection can stand the test of time because this person will build with you. They're not coming in to sleep with you to steal your sacred energy to go and build a foundation with somebody else. See, you're the privileged lady and this person, they are locked out of your pathway. Mm -hmm. Locked out. Your energy field has been cleared. They have been officially eclipsed out. You're on your journey <laughs> to greatness. You need your energy for yourself. Wealthy man. And there's a connection out here. Yeah, see, you have someone that's spiritually wealthy that's coming in. They could be financially abundant as well. This person who's been stealing your energy, though, <laughs> they're blocked. And they're like, uh-oh, what? Yeah, because, see, the person who's, who's supposed to be in your life, you have to, y'all are supposed to be sharing your energy together and manifesting. This person has to get out. This imposter, they're in despair now. What do you want to do now? They're concerned now because the spiritual court, the final verdict is in. It's over for them. You have mature man, mature woman, and coughing. Hmm. Why is mature man and coughing there with concern in the courthouse? I feel like for some of you, this person, if they've been in like a long-term connection with somebody else, this coming to an end. All of the legal contracts or anything else that they had, it's all coming to an end. These people could be older than you. Yeah, false person. <laughs> they went on a journey with a false person. And they thought that like they, they was going to ride this until the wheels fall off and the wheels just fell off. The wheels fell off, yeah, because they're a thief. And look at them. Now they both sitting there facing judgment and will be in poverty. Thank you. Yeah, they both will. They're a little flunky person. They, both of them will be in poverty. How dare you sit here and, and try to steal this person's energy? They, For some of you, they've been doing this stuff for three to nine months or years. Nine of pentacles, nine years. They've been living off of your energy. False person. Whoever their person, they're gonna be caught to. It won't, this man is not going down by themselves. They're not. Because I can guarantee you, whoever this person that they're with, they knew exactly what they were doing to you. They knew. But as long as they were able to make money, as long as they were able to get houses and cars or do whatever they wanted to do and be accepted in this community, and this mature man and mature woman. These could be some people in this community that they're that they're with as well. Could be some people, yeah. This is some kind of community or organization. I feel like these people are gonna be asking them now, so where is the money? These people do I'm getting this is a, a couple, they do business with somebody. And now business is is falling apart. Whoever this mature man or woman are, they're saying, okay, we have to end our contract with you. You were supposed to be bringing us X amount of dollars. Your business was supposed to generate X amount of dollars. Where is it at? The business is not doing what it's supposed to do because divine feminine energy is not there. All of the, the money, the donations, the community support, all of that is gone downhill now. But I mean, that's what they wanted for divine feminine, right? Funny how those tables turn, huh? 
Now all of their supporters are leaving. Commitment. This person's contracts are falling apart, but this person tries to bind you. You're not in this binding contract with this person anymore. I'm telling you, they're suffering. What are we going to do now? I feel like now you get to go over and, and indulge and have a good life. You can finally enjoy the life that is meant for you as a privileged lady with a wealthy man. This is spiritual wealth. It's not just about money because you and someone else, you already made a vow to be together. To have happiness, joy, wish fulfillment. And this person that has been stealing your energy and actually competing with perhaps your actual counterpart, they're, they trap. they're trapped now. They're being caught. This person may have even gone as far as to try to... Um, it's like this person has been rerouting. Look at that curse. This is a prideful, egotistical person. They will do anything to gain money. And they're a thief. They're a thief. This, this, this super arrogant, prideful person, they are a thief. Robbery, curse, pride. They sat around and thought of a, a perfect idea. Oh, I know what I can do. Even if you're in a new connection, I guarantee this person, it's like they still been trying to pull on your sacral energy. It's like they want all of your, and even the energy that perhaps should be shared with your, your person in your life, they're trying to reroute their energy so that it'll go to them. So that it'll help them to still manifest something. Boom, but it's over. Death. They they thought that they, they had planned this all out. Now they're frightened. Why are you frightened now? It's death now. This family, everybody in this family or in this situation is possibly going to jail for what they did. Because this was a collaboration. Somebody here got information from somebody, and I had a reading similar to this, on how to try and control your mind to create some kind of disaster as they decided to shape you so that they could get into some type of binding contract. So you have someone out here that has been taught how to shape you, that thought that they would come in and energetically shape you, that they would violate you, steal all of your energy, wearing a mask, that they will have you face some kind of natural disaster. You will become homeless or be stuck in survival mode. They try to control your mind or even the, the mind of the person that you're dealing with. They were coached on how to do this. Now somebody's family is going to have a death. Could be the death of a person or a serious ending here. And somebody's going to go to jail. Spiritual jail, real jail. Everybody in this collaboration right now is feeling really foolish. Somebody now is afraid the, that this person is going to go to jail. Again, though, you have some kind of past life contract. You already made a vow to be in this caring connection with someone where you're supposed to be happy. Somebody wants to stop you from having your actual destiny because they literally are trying to live your life. And this person now, they're getting evidence here that you are able to persevere. You have to endure a lot. But see, there's a blessing with your name on it. They schedule something for you to be a failure and the blessing is still coming because hopefully you know not to listen to these people and the lies that they're trying to tell you about your divine connections. This is a counterfeit energy that's trying very hard to convince you that like they should be in your life. You know better than that. You know it. You know that's why the high priestess came out with the ace of swords. This person was under the impression that you were falling for some kind of tricks or illusions and that they were going to convince you that, that they were meant to be in your life. No. And this person is really going to be in trouble because if they've been stealing something from you, they should also be going to this, this spiritually wealthy person. They're going to really suffer. Because not only were they attacking one divine being, they were attacking another person as well. This person is stressed. 
having all kinds of stress, fear, paranoia, and anxiety. Because I feel like this person, what is happening right now is they have a lot of obligations, especially financial. They can't seem to pay pay what they own or pay what they weigh. How are they going to pay what they weigh without your energy? They can't. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's a wrap for this thief. It's a spiritual thief. This person was refusing to move forward and accept change. They kept doing the same thing, just repeating the same mistakes over and over. Now the tower is in the reverse, and it doesn't matter how how much strength this person thought they had. They thought that they were going to reverse something or return something. Or I don't know what they thought. Try to soften the blow somehow. No. Judgment day is here. This person has abused their power for a long time. And they have been robbing people blind. I feel like this person has literally been stealing from an entire community. And people are about to see now like, oh, wow. Because everything that they've been doing to cloak themselves, there is no cloaking. The illusion that they've been trying to create that like they're a good person or Whatever, that's not there anymore. This person, all of all of their masks have fallen off. This person wears many masks, and all of their masks have fallen off at once. But your energy was their main source. Look at that. The moon and the devil. This person has been trying very hard to hide the fact that they are nothing but a devil. This is a devil who has been in disguise. The lovers in the reverse. The hierophant in the reverse. It's a Taurus out here. Taurus or Capricorn. Two of Wands. There's nowhere for them to go. Two of Wands in the reverse. Four of Cups in the reverse with the Death card. There's nowhere for them to go. And what this person was hoping, the Three of Wands in the reverse, I feel like this person was hoping to be the King of Pentacles and the Emperor. This is someone who was hoping to gain. This person had a plan to come up off of a person. They were going to build a solid foundation, start a business, become a leader, a father, and all these other great things by actually stealing from the divine feminine. But the truth is, is that divine feminine is true divine masculine. They have come in to assume their role and position, meaning this counterfeit has to get out. They have to go. This emperor king of pentacles, this is a, a counterpart that's supposed to be with divine feminine, that wealthy man. So this person who has been clinging to divine feminine for so long and trying to stay in some type of soul tie contract or bind themselves, they now have to move. This is like divine feminine king was, was away and this person, they came and they sat on, in the, on the king's throne and it's just been having a good time, feasting, and they was never even supposed to be there. This person has literally put an illusion in over everybody, tricked everybody into believing that they were supposed to be sitting on a throne. They was never even supposed to be able to get through the gates.